Hi everyone, welcome to my craft room. Today I'll be sharing how I made this Birch Lane inspired photo frame ladder. Their photo frame was a little bit taller than mine. Mine is four feet and mine has five frames where the Birch Lane has six frames. I made mine for under $15 and theirs was $198. And here is the measurements for my ladder. I hope I did it right and you can understand if you would like to remake this ladder. If you don't, just inbox me. I have used some Jenga blocks, a brad nailer, I used a drill gun, and I used these screw eyes. I used some white cup hooks. I used the half inch ones. And I used a mixture of photo frames and some prints that I just printed off of the internet and they were black and white. And I didn't film me constructing the ladder, but once it was all put together, I gave it one coat of some white chalk paint. And then I drilled a hole right in the center of each jingle block. So in total, I used 10 jingle blocks and I ended up drilling one on the side, one hole on the side and one hole on the flat side because depending on the frame is which way I wanted to use the Jenga block. So as you can see here, one is on the, you know, the wide side, and then I have some screwed in on the top. Hopefully I'm making sense. <laughs> anyway, so, and then I just laid my picture frames down and eyeballed the sides there and then with a pencil, I marked where I wanted to put my hooks. And the first couple times I just measured the hooks and the rail, you know, at the same measurement, but it, I found it easier to put on, glue on my jingle blocks with those, the screw eyes first and then I marked where I wanted to place my hooks on the rail. And that was much easier. I ended up using a very small drill bit and I just tapped it in with a hammer to get my hole started and just gave it a wiggle in there, um, you know, just so my cup hook had a place to start, you know, to start screwing it in. And then on some of them, they were really hard, um, you know, to screw them in. I wasn't strong enough. So I did take a pair of needle nose pliers and, and gently turned the cups, you know, the cup hook into the wood. And I even used a paper towel to protect the plastic that's coating on those cup hooks.
And here I'm just trying to decide if I want to use the screw eyes on the flat side of the Jenga block or on the side. And for this particular frame, I chose the one on the side. as shown there. I used some Gorilla Glue as well as some hot glue. Um, that way just, you know, I didn't want them popping off and breaking my frames, of course. And I used that hot glue to give it that immediate hold. And to place that Jenga block, I just looked through that screw eye and you know made sure my line was right smack in the middle of it and that's where I placed my Jenga block. Making sure I glued the next Jenga block you know the same distance top and bottom and side of course. And here it is all done. I absolutely love it. This ladder has been on my mind for uh, about a month now and I love the way it came out. I love the prints. And, you know, you can use it for family prints as well. I have all my pictures down my hallway, so I will be using this for holidays. Thanks for watching. And if you like my video today, can you give me a big thumbs up? And if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. I would love for you to be one of my YouTube family members. And you know what to do. Hit that bell button. That way you'll be notified every time I do upload a new video. Thanks for watching. Talk to you soon. Bye.